I um, I get frustrated sometimes watching creationist videos because I too have a lot of reasons to uh, critique Darwinian evolution, um, but the angle that a lot of creationists take on it to me just seems wrong because well evolution itself is based on a form of creationism I think um, it all leads back to this original Big Bang and whatever the state of the universe was before or you know right as the Big Bang was first occurring um, it would have been well omnipresent because all space exists in this one infinite point um, omniscient because all knowledge um, you know if humans have knowledge at this point billions of years after the Big Bang it must have in some sense in germ existed in you know the uh, the qualities of the original point um, and omnipotence was also an attribute of this original point at the moment of the Big Bang because uh, all energy that ever will exist afterwards exists then um, but I guess the difference between a scientific account of this type of creationism from from an omnipresent omniscient and omnipotent original source the difference is um, after that original explosion science posits only this causal chain of reactions collisions between um, atoms molecules eventually um, stars and then come planets and on planets life organisms start colliding with each other and evolving um, there's never any mention of um, a purpose or a telos or a uh, a direction in which evolution is moving and um, see if I were going to try to bring um, some sense of meaning or purpose or direction into the um, scientific materialist account of existence I would talk about involution it's sort of the um, the corollary or the mirror image of evolution um, in that it's the process whereby the one becomes the many so that the many can return to the one um, or at least the many returning to the one would be evolution but when you have involution as part of this picture too uh, evolution doesn't become this this random moving outward into emptiness this blind march toward um, well, nothing. Um, it becomes sort of this this cycle that there's this original point of union, and then separation, and the many things that become separated then evolve back to realize oneness again. Maybe it's a oneness in another form. It's a transformation of oneness. Um, so it's not necessarily that you know the theories of of the Big Bang leading to a big crunch could be a materialist explanation of of God and, and this uh, process of uh, purpose and direction to evolution um, we could form a completely new type of oneness that's maybe connection at a distance that's totally different from the original point um, prior to or at the moment of the Big Bang so I think Involution is what um, people who want to bring a more spiritual view of evolution into the picture should be talking about. Um, the materialist account of evolution ignores the fact that for some reason uh, matter came to life and life became aware of itself because why else would that happen what is this urge to transcend 
this urge to um, sort of uh, transform, this urge to um, emerge from one stage of manifestation into another, completely different and um, you know unforeseen based on what came prior to it. There's some. Um, I mean, in the case of evolution, it looks like a, a push from inside. But when you consider that evolution uh, in, the, in the context of involution, it could also be this pulling from, from beyond. Um, so God exists in the past, and he created us, and we're moving forward, and we're moving toward God again as the goal of evolution. So... God would be Alpha and Omega, beginning and ending, and in a sense ever-present. The whole cycle of evolution and involution and and so on, it, it, it just always, it's always happening in every moment. It's not this um, single process which occurs on a macro scale, it's also occurring in every moment, immediately, you know. I guess that's the best, or maybe not the best, but one of the ways of describing eternity. But um, evolution it's really got me thinking. Let me know what you think about what I'm thinking, and then um, hopefully we'll really be thinking. <laughs>